Ocean Warriors. Seven strongest fishmen in one piece right now. Is Jinbi the strongest? There are two main sea races in one piece. There are merfolk, or mermaids. Then there's also fishmen, fishmen. Merfolk included Shirahoshi and the Ryago royal family. Fishman is Jinbi, Arlong, and friends. Well, who is the strongest fishman in One Piece now? Welcome everyone for today's video about One Piece. Before anything else, please do like, comment and subscribe on this channel. Click on the bell sign to get notification on my latest uploads videos. Sit back and enjoy. 7 Hody Jones, with steroids. Hody Jones might feel like a petty villain in Fishman Island. Actually it doesn't even need Luffy to defeat him. Zoro had severely injured Hody in one strike. Then Hody took an energy steroid, and he became a more tolerable threat. In this form, Hody deserves to be mentioned as one of the strongest fishmen. Honey, that was an increase in Hody's last strength. The effects of steroids make Hody grow old and do not seem to be a serious threat anymore. 6 Namur Namur's fighting ability is indeed mysterious. But there is a reason why he can be ranked 6th in this list. Namur is believed to be one of the commanders of Whitebeard. This fishman couldn't possibly be weak if he was believed to be one of the commanders of the Yonko division. 5 Dellinger This Dellinger is actually mixed blood. He is half fishman, half human. In terms of strength, this feminine man is actually classified as horror you know. He had beaten up some of Luffy's allies, including Idio. In the end, Dellinger just fell after he was hit by an unexpected attack from Hakuba. 4. Kawamatsu Kawamatsu combines the superpowers of the fishman with the Wano style sword and sumo techniques. The result? He is one of the strongest fighters in Akezaya 9, a figure that is considered by Kinemon as strong as 100 warriors. 3. Fisher Tiger Fisher Tiger is one of the legendary figures in One Piece. He was indeed dead, but in terms of strength, Fisher could not be doubted. He was still able to invade Marajoa and free the slaves there. Fisher also has incredible speed, even on the mainland, and great toughness that makes him able to continue to fight even though it has been injured. 2. Jinbi In terms of strength, Jinbi is certainly no doubt. He has a long combat experience. Combined with his experience and composure, Jinbi can be a threat on land and at sea. On land, he was able to punch figures like Gecko Moria easily. His fist was also able to fly Big Mom from Thousand Sunny until the woman almost splashed into the sea. At sea, even battleships can be sunk by their attacks in an instant. 1 Jack Yes, Jack is a fishman. He isn't even a mixed fishman. He is a full fishman, who then eats devil fruit, so he cannot move in the sea. Is Jack stronger than Jinbi? My consideration so far is how difficult it is to beat Jack. He had been swept away by Zuknisha's trunk, cut down by Shu Tenmaru, and even fought the entire mink army for days, but he continued to rise. From a technical point of view, Jinbi might outperform Jack. But in terms of toughness and dirty tactics, Jack is a dangerous threat. Maybe they will determine who is the strongest fishman in one piece later, on a Nagashima. That's the seven strongest fishmen in one piece. Who do you think is stronger? 
Jack or Jinbi. Here are some facts about Fishman Island. Fishman Island is the home of the fishmen and merfolk. It serves as an underwater gateway to the new world for those who do not wish, or are not legally permitted, to cross over the red line above. This was the last island the Straw Hats visited before arriving at the new world and the main setting of the Fishman Island Ark. It has also been prophesied by Madame Shirley that someone bearing a straw hat will destroy the island. Fishman Island is an underwater island which dwells 10,000 meters below sea level in a giant hole that goes under the red line at the bottom of a deep trench. The island resides in a giant double-layered bubble floating above the seafloor, seemingly filled with about half water and reef and half air. Ryagu Palace rests in a smaller bubble on top of the main island's bubble. It is illuminated by the sunlight tree eve. It serves as an underwater gateway to the new world for those who do not wish to cross over the red line above. The Ryagu Kingdom is the country that King Neptune rules over. It includes all of Fishman Island as well as the surrounding areas. The majority of the buildings of the Ryagu Kingdom are designed like seashells. They are built on coral reefs. Some buildings are floating in the air with bubbles encasing them. Also, throughout the kingdom are water streams that arc through the air, allowing citizens to swim within them for transport, and with bubbly coral as an inner tube, people can float in air as well. The Mermaid Princess is a legend passed down the kingdom. This legend speaks of a mermaid capable of speaking with sea kings, born once every few hundred years. Shirahoshi is the mermaid princess of this generation. The Tamatabako is a mystical box in the possession of the Ryago kingdom, capable of making a person older. At one time, Vander Deccan 9 wanted to use it to aid Shirahoshi so he could match her age with his in order to properly marry her. Ryago Kingdom Inhabitants
Thank you for watching Capitan Seote YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe.